Christian page, you're tuning to the edge. It's good to see everybody again. Literally, I can see y'all now because I have to wear glasses, and y'all can probably see into what I'm doing. But anyway, um, this is not gonna be a long video because I don't have a lot of um, battery life. I do need to charge the camera and stuff, but we're gonna talk about ghetto mamas on this subs today. Ghetto mamas. I happen to be out and about one day on the bus, me and my boo, and um. I heard this lady say, I'm going to take you to the, the pool, baby. And as soon as she said that, the door was like, Mommy, every time you say you're going to take us to the pool, you take us to the bathroom over at, over at you know, I guess a friend's house. She, she named some, some lady. I don't know who she was. I thought to myself, that's just ghetto. When you tell a child you're going to do something, you don't take them to a bathtub. That ain't the pool, honey. That ain't the pool. Take them to an actual pool. First, let me take this up. First and foremost, um, now I feel blind. Let me put them back on. Oh, God. Okay, so anyway, first and foremost, if you are going to have a child, please first have money, a job, somewhere to stay, um, some kind of support system, a good baby father, not one of these fools that stand on the street corner trying to sell dope. They're not going to make no money. If they do, they're going to go to jail soon because you're always going to get caught. You can't do it forever, whatever the case may be. I don't know, but you know, I'm just saying, oh, if you're going to be a white woman, you're going to have a baby daddy or something like that. Um, you know, make sure he's not a redneck living in a trailer park. You're going to be black and have one. Make sure he's not, you know, ghetto and stupid. Make sure of education. Ladies, if you are a child, you know, 12 years old, 13, make sure you are wearing condoms. You shouldn't be having sex in the first place. You need to be in church um, trying to learn the Bible. Please, if, let me tell you something else. Okay, another thing about these ghetto mamas. If you know for a fact that your child can quote every word to a verse from a little Wayne video, a little a T.I. song, a little Bootsy, a little Wheezy, little Wody, or whatever these people call themselves nowadays. I know I'm, I'm missing a name, but I'm doing this for a purpose, y'all. I'm doing this for a purpose. Um, your child know a little too much about the radio. You need to cut BET off, you need to cut off MTV, and you need to cut on PBS. I remember when I was growing up, I looked at PBS a lot. Sesame Street, um, Sesame Street, um, the Fraggles, the, the Smurfs and everything. Nowadays, these little kids got too much cars, the, uh, cartoons, they're killing people. All these little characters got magic powers and stuff. No, you need to take your little ass to school and learn something. I see too many kids on this train on my days off. When I am, you know, look, on my days off, and I have to, I have to work for a living. I, don't, I did not, you know, when I was growing up, I didn't get a chance to sit in the house. The, like they say, an idol, something is a devil's playground. So, you know, I don't know the, the saying, but y'all know what I mean. You need to put these damn kids in school. You know what? From now on, if I see one of these kids out of school, I'm just going to call the police. If you're in D.C. and you're not in school on the day you're supposed to be in school, I'm just going to call the police. Because I think the police are supposed to pick you up, but then they ain't doing their damn job. So don't be a police officer. Be something that does, that, that does something. Okay, anyway. So get on mamas. Get it together. Okay? Get it together. Make... Send these kids to Bible school. Amen. Don't they do that during the, during the summer vacation Bible school? You should have been there the whole damn summer. When one is out, you know what? You're going to the next one. Because you know what? There's 10 million churches in the damn in the black community, honey. I live in a community right now. And in my one little neighborhood, there is 15 churches in a two-block radius. So you know what that means? Send their asses to church. Get them some damn vacation Bible studies. Some vacation Bible school. You know what? You, and when I was growing up, I was in church every day of the week, honey. I was in church on Monday. I was in choir rehearsal on Tuesday. I was in Bible study on Wednesday. Thursday, I was in a prayer meeting. Friday, I had an usher board practice. Saturday, I was doing stuff with other kids. Sunday, I was in church all day, literally. Then I had, you know, um, morning service, night service, you name it. It was happening. Look, do something about these kids. 
ghetto mamas, ghetto mamas. Anyway, I got work to do. I'm about to get back to. I'm gonna get back to work. If y'all like the glasses, do y'all like the glasses? I, I kind of, you know, they're growing on me. Uh, I'm blind as a bat, so I have to keep them. But anyway, look, I love each and every one of y'all. Shout out to my homegirl, Marsha. Marsha, um, sister-in-law, watches the show, and she's a really big fan of mine. So, hey, baby, um, big ups and shout out to you. I'm about to be out, y'all, all right? So, look, much love. Thanks for tuning in. This is Ghetto Mamas, all right? Y'all take care of these damn kids. I'm, I ain't doing it for you. I pay my taxes. You know, that's another thing. you welfare, welfare, having... Anyway, I'm out, okay? That's another that's another subject. We're for a mama. We're gonna talk about that another day because you know. Anyway, look, much love everybody. This is the edge and I'm out. Peace. I've been watching you from over here on the other side of the club looking at you walk through that smoke. What do you drink? Drink little patron, little gray goose, a little Hennessy. But when I see you, all my girls like, what do you think? How do you feel? Feel butterflies running all up and down my chest, but he's so hot to death, and I'm so feeling fresh and that's rude. What am I supposed to do? Get up and walk to a thug and act like a man is and cute. Nah, I'm a step like.